Hey, Rox! Roxy! Hi! Is she gonna say anything? I'm sure Rex told you the whole story. Oh, yeah, he told me all right. But I don't buy a single word of it. Ow! Foxy, what are you doing? I'm looking for scars. I don't have any scars. Stacy is the one who had plastic surgery. I am Gigi, I swear to you. And just to be safe, we did a DNA test last night. So the DNA lab in this town is worse than the one on Fraternity Row. Oh my God, Fraternity Row, I miss that show. It is gonna take me so long to catch up after all these months. Well, honey, you don't get to catch up. None of us do. What do you mean? It's going the way of the doo-doo bird, it got axed. It was canceled? <sighs> yeah, it's true, the last episode airs next week. No! Oh God, that's, that's terrible. Okay, you said it was terrible? Because Stacy would never say that it was terrible. So, Gigi. Oh. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. All right, you got to get your butt in gear. We got to get you married. Hey, how do I get lucky enough to get a preview of the Miracle Bro? Oh, oh, don't get mushy with her. We got to get the hair. Hey, hey oh, Ben okay, okay, I'll see you at the ceremony. Awesome. Hey. hey, Mo! I'm so glad you can make it to this. Oh, uh, listen, this should have happened months and months ago. So, you ready to make up for lost time? Definitely. That's it. Oh, uh, Balsam, I, tell you, I haven't been this happy about anyone since Matthew opened his eyes. I can't wait to see him tonight. Yeah. Well, listen, about uh, tonight... I don't think he's going to be able to uh, to join us tonight. Is he? I mean, he's okay, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Physically, he's just fine. He's uh, he's just got a few things that uh, that he has to work out. That's all. But I know that he is extremely happy for you and Gigi, and so am I. Nora. So he ran away. Hey. Oh, sorry. Hi. Hi. She is. Oh my God. Oh, no, 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 don't smush the hair. You look beautiful for a dead woman. Thank you, darling. <laughs> okay, enough, enough. She's got a wedding dress to shimmy in, too. And if we play catch up, she's going to be here all week. And you are not to keep my Rexy waiting. You know, you got to hand it to Roxy. She's looking out for her boy. Yeah, I know the feeling. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, John. You know, seeing things turn out right for you and Gigi. Kind of makes you believe anything's possible. That, uh... Everybody's favorite psychic! Ah. <laughs> so, this, this was the wedding you were talking about? The very same. I asked her to officiate. She's the reason Gigi and I got together in the first place. Hey, um, isn't it time for the bride to make an appearance? Uh, Roxy's helping her out. Oh, God. Roxy helped me out. I ended up with green hair. <laughs> I better go figure that out. <laughs> Well, I hope she can hurry this along. I'd like to get this wedding over with before all hell breaks loose. Yeah. I... Positions, people! The lady in white is ready to roll.
Rex and Gigi will be legally united in the bonds of holy matrimony. Please. These two don't need a ceremony to be bonded for eternity. Their love has already weathered storms that would level most people. <laughs> Distance, time, even death. These things were not enough to pull them apart. That is why we are here to celebrate not only the beginning of their journey as husband and wife, but the end of their journey that brought them to this point and the power of love that guided them. Love is like a flame. If unattended, it withers and dies, almost like it never existed. But when nurtured, Love can grow from the spark to a blaze that gets stronger with every passing year. Love can be huddled around for warmth in times of struggle and hardship. It can light the way when darkness is near. With love, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Rex and Chi Chi have taught us that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if there is something that you two would like to say, now be the time. You remember me when we first met. I was kind of lost. I was kind of a jerk. No one ever really made me want to be a better person until you. I knew you were special even back then. I also knew that I didn't deserve you. So I took the easy way out. Insanity is sticking here when rich relatives are waiting to meet me in Landview. Lucky for me, I found a few people who cared about me enough to help me grow up. And thanks to all of them, when you came back into my life, I was ready. Sorry I'm late, Mo. If you had a heart, you'd understand, but you don't, so you won't. Did Noelle clean the aprons like she was supposed to? Brasco? Little did I know I was getting two for one because you had a surprise for me, my son. <laughs> and the two of you have given me the greatest gift of all, the family to belong to, to love, and to fight for. And I will treasure that forever. And I will treasure you forever. I'm going to love, honor, and cherish you until death do us part. And even after that. <laughs> well, Balsam. This is kind of like that torch I carried for you all those years. I have been in love with you since the first day we met. Even when I told myself I had to forget you, I just couldn't pull it off. You were in my heart, whether I wanted you there or not. And then one day, you showed up for real. Awesome. And I didn't know how to handle it, so 
I tried to hide how I felt. And then I picked the absolute worst time to tell you. Just say it. Tell him. I love you. It's true. I'm in love with you, Rex. All those years, I thought I could go on living without you. But I wasn't living. You brought me back to life, Paulson. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> And did I mention you're a really good kisser? <laughs> I will always love you, honor you, and cherish you and our family for the rest of my life. And even after that. you two to light that last candle together. There you have it. Two separate forces united as one for eternity. May that candle stay lit well into the new year. Now, if there's anyone here who knows of a reason uh, why Dale, these two should... could you just uh, skip that part? Last time I heard it, things didn't work out so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so nobody's got any reason, right? <laughs> All right, then. By the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the power of love, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The no. ceremony was perfect. Yeah, you were awesome. My pleasure. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. All right, all those times that I kept seeing Gigi, getting those messages about not giving up, if she was in a coma, how was I getting them? Oh, I can answer that. Just come a little closer. Duh! Did you not hear anything I said at the ceremony? Amnesia, coma, that's no match for the power of love. Obviously. The universe wants to see you two together. So do me a favor. Don't mess it up. We won't. We <laughs> promise. No. Thank you. Happy New Year. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Guys, it's almost midnight. I got you covered. Ooh. All right, listen, I would like to thank you two for giving me the best New Year's of my life. Aww. Cheers to the balsams. Woo! Oh, look, the ball's dropping. Ten. Ten. Watch out, land. Nine. Here. Here it comes. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come at me. Price is inverted. Shane has batteries for his portable C box. Hello? Wow. I want to start the new year off, right? Mrs. Balsam. May I have this dance? <laughs>